How's it going guys and welcome to the Pack-a-Punch guide for the new zombies map Dead of the Night. This Pack-a-Punch quest is super easy to do but it does require me giving you a lot of information because of different things hidden within this quest so I will try to keep this video as short as possible but like I said there is a lot of information to cramp into this video so do bear with me. Before we do jump into the video, if you could leave a like, that would mean the world to me. And if you are new to the channel, do not forget to hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with the latest guides and easter egg findings. So the first step to this quest is to find three gazing stones which are located in certain areas around the maps. And the locations for these three different stones are as follows. The first one is inside the master bedroom area. It's either just outside the bedroom itself, inside the bedroom or in the room that's just next to it. The second stone location is inside the library area even on the top floor, in the middle of the bottom floor or in the back of the bottom floor. And finally the third location is in the cellar area either next to the table or on the other side of the room. For some reason this place only has two locations. So the way this works is in each of the rooms there'll be vases which is where these are located and you will have to shoot the one that's got a glow coming out of it. It'll break it and that'll reveal the stone. You then fill five zombie souls into it and you're able to actually gaze into the stone by pressing the use button. It will then reveal a certain object which is located around the map and there is six objects in total. But don't worry, it's only three that you need to complete, one for each stone. Each of these also come with a small challenge to complete to gain a tuning fork. I just happen to have all six locations and all six challenges for you guys, making this so much easier for you to complete. So these are the six objects with both their location and their challenge. The first object is just a perk machine and there is something very different about perks in this map. There is only four perks but there is actually five locations and these perks change locations unlike the other maps so it's better to learn the actual locations rather than remember where a certain perk is. The first location for a perk is inside the cellar area, you can't really miss it. The second location is opposite to where you pick up the artifact in this back room. I'm pretty sure this perk is always the day new perk. This perk never changes. The third location is at the top of the cemetery area. This is the very top. You have to follow the stairs all the way up to the top. And inside this kind of dome shaped area, the perk is sitting in the middle of it. The fourth location is to the right side of the greenhouse area in the gardens. As you go through the dining area, you can see you can either go straight up or you can take a right. You take that right, carry on the path, and you'll be in the gardens and the perk is in plain sight in the corner. Then the fifth and final location is just in front of the pack a punch area, which is through the back doors on the bottom floor of the house. And remember guys, any perk could be in any of these locations and the viewing stone will show you any of these perks. So you just basically have to check all the locations as it is different every single game. Now when you've actually found the perk that you are gazed in and you've seen, the area will kind of go foggy, you'll be locked into a room and these kind of vampire kind of zombies, I don't know what they are, they're bats and they transform into zombies with like claws and fangs, so they're, they're semi-vampires. But it'll spawn these special kind of zombies and you basically just have to kill them and then once they're all dead, that'll spawn the fork itself. The second object is a painting and there's actually two different paintings that will be shown but they have the same challenge at the end. The first painting is to the left of where you spawn on the left wall and the second painting is on the exact same side but just a little further up in the next room. Once you have the correct one, you hold the use button on it and a ghost will appear. You simply follow the ghost and will end up in the cemetery revealing a tuning fork under a grave. The third object is a clock and this clock will have three different locations. The first location is where the pack punch area is uh, in the back of the room in the bottom floor. The second location is inside the snooker room hung up on the left wall. And the final location is inside the dining room against the middle wall here. When you found the clock that's ticking and making noise, it'll give you an option to activate it and then create a circle with numbers on the floor. You basically just have to stay stood inside this circle for around 60 seconds and when it's complete, the clock will give you a tuning fork. 
The fourth object is a doll and the location for this is inside the room just opposite to where you pick up the artifact and it's sitting on the left side on a table. You simply press the use button on it and again a ghost will appear. Simply follow it to the cemetery and it will reveal a tuning fork. The fifth object is a rope and the location for this is inside the cellar hung over the chair at the table and the challenge is yet again to follow a ghost on a different route this time which this one will actually break a wall which will have the shooting fork behind it. The final object is a scroll which is located on the top floor of the library on these shelves here and again it's as simple as follow a ghost on yet a different route which reveals a safe behind a painting and that gives you a tuning fork. So that's all six objects and once you've done your three for that game you have to go to the bottom floor of the main house and out the back which you'll see a huge black blob of darkness in which you just hold your use button on it and the tuning forks will create vibrations knocking it away and then open the game. Then you have one final task which in my opinion is the coolest thing ever that's been inside this game up to now and that is killing a werewolf. Yes, a werewolf actually spawns as soon as this gate opens and he isn't that overpowered but he definitely takes quite a few bullets which if you didn't know there's actually an upgrade to the bullets called the silver bullets. If you want to see how that is done go and check my channel I will have a guide on how to get them. They're super easy quest and it actually doubles the damage coming from your bullets. Anyway, after it's dead, you simply follow the path that's outside the game and pack a punch is at the bottom. And that, ladies and gents, is how to pack a punch on the new map, Dead of the Night. I'm pretty sure I said that right. I keep getting the name mixed up calling it Night of the Dead, Dead of the Night, but I'm pretty sure it's called Dead of the Night. And let me just say, I absolutely love this pack a punch camo. It is so clean and I'm so happy we've got an actual usable camo, you know, that I like. I'm not really too fond of the other ones in Black Ops 4, but this one I really do like but anyway guys that is going to wrap up the video hopefully this helped you out in some way and if it did a like is appreciated and if you are new to the channel hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on a future guide or a future easter egg hunt thank you all for watching i'll see you all in my next video